Uh, go back to your delivery controller. Yeah. Okay, we have completed all this. Now uh, click yeah. on the forefront server that you have just created. We have to check for the issue. I think we when once we go with the um, mm -hmm. HTTP, it will also work. Okay, so please make uh, that HTTP only. We can edit it. How to edit it? Maximize this. Manage TBB controllers and here. Add it. So yes, edit it. Okay. Okay. So let's try this. Mm -hmm. copy. Now copy that URL and login with H2 and 3 or okay. 4. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah. So now, uh, like uh, we have two store fronts now. Okay. Uh, first one is your DDC, and second one is your yeah. This one. It's store uh, like front. Yeah. Store front. So, uh, they both will work like a load balancer. Like you know, if you have multiple sessions, thousands of sessions connected, so mm -hmm. you can uh, distribute separate uh, you know URLs to users, or you can select that option from the delivery controller only that automatically you know <laughs> redirect user to this url okay yeah. if okay. particular url is uh, busy or on high utilization you correct? Got it. yeah so it's like a secondary uh storefront correct you can create multiple uh, just yeah. suppose if you have thousand connections running so mm. uh, you uh, required at least uh, four or five storefront servers okay mm. yeah Got it. Okay, so uh, we have fixed that storefront part as well. Now mm -hmm. we have to work on app publishing. So after that, uh, there is nothing uh, much remaining from my side. So if you have any concern or any points to discuss, I have one please. question today. Uh, if like if companies have to uh, calculate their workloads for this mm -hmm. infrastructure. Are there mm -hmm. any specific tools to calculate this workload? What kind of workload you are talking about? Like, like any company, suppose I am a client and I'm running a particular office and mm -hmm. I'm looking for something to uh, be virtualized using these applications I'm new and I have 500 employees and a big infrastructure. So as an engineer, mm -hmm. how I, do you use any particular tool to identify how much workload is already there and how many servers will be required? What type of infrastructure will be best suitable in my circumstances? Okay, so our server count is already with you. Okay, mm -hmm. and coming to the utilization part. So mm -hmm. uh, you have to, uh, uh, you know, you have to share some requirement like, you know, which applications you are going to host and how much, you know, resource hungry are those applications. Then mm -hmm. uh, we will, uh, <laughs> make some permutation and combination and there is a tool of course and you mm -hmm. can google it as well you will get multiple tools over there you just have to uh, put some requirement of yours like application any good particular and... tool which you can help me to browse through because i'm very new to this workload and i will of... share i will share a link to you okay okay because it's it's something like if tool is available i'll put some values okay uh, these many number of clients are there. This is my utilization. This is what I want. Something as a okay. report should pop up and uh, just to guide me to that. This is how workloads can be estimated. I will share that. Okay. Uh, okay. Just let me know one thing. Initially, yeah. how many users will be there for you for this? Uh, assume it as, for example, say 100 users. Okay. So you have to provide requirement considering 100 users, correct? Right, right. 
Okay, then uh, I will share one tool to you. Okay. So suppose just I'm just uh, like uh, assuming that suppose there are three departments running under my organization. I'm chief hmm. executive officer. Three departments are there, and under those hmm. three departments, hundred employees are there for whom hmm. uh, desktops are to be virtualized. So suppose hmm. if we are having a meeting, then you will have to decide that okay, how big the infrastructure will be, how many servers, how many. Uh, you know, uh, storefront, secondary storage, or whatever, right? So I have, mm -hmm. I, I just want to know a little bit about what type of tools you will utilize in order to just make a rough estimate to give me a budget or a solution that okay, Rohini, if you're looking for something like this, this will be, uh, you know, th this, this much big the infrastructure will be because initially there will be some estimates, I suppose. Yes, so that I will share with you, okay. Okay, Don't all right, perfect. Okay, so apart from that, any technical query you have? So uh, technical query, like uh, your explanations are very good and whatever we have uh, completed, it's all clear. Uh, if mm -hmm. I first, what I will do in this week, I will mm -hmm. replicate this entire practical again. Uh, okay, so uh, for practice. after that, and, uh, yeah. After that, one uh, thing I skipped here, that's net scalar, okay? Okay. And one so, more thing that I will do, that is I will migrate this to, uh, mm -hmm. v I will implement it to vSphere infrastructure. So you can do one thing for your better understanding, okay? Yeah. Uh, just yeah. just uh, destroy that entire setup and you have to create it by your own, okay? Yes, yes, I'll do that. And uh, yeah. Before uh, publishing it into the production, please okay. uh, be perfect actually, okay? Yes, yes. I will definitely, uh, you know, practice it a number of times so that mm -hmm. steps will be clear in my mind that, okay, this, 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 this we are doing. And uh, okay. yes, of course, the two topics that you are saying, app republishing and mm -hmm. uh, scalar. Okay, so actually net scalar is subjected to licensing only. So that is the reason why I skipped here. It is a kind of firewall only. Okay. 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 So just uh, we have to make it, uh, just suppose uh, we have to make it uh, HTTPS. Okay. Okay. So for okay. that, we need one SSL certificate and we have to insert that SSL certificate into net scalar. Got it? Okay. Okay. So that is not that uh, complicated, but it is subjected to licensing. Yeah, you just let me know the procedure and uh, give me some a number of steps. I'll write it down. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if like we have to do it practically, then of course I'll ask my organization for that uh, certificate. And then after that, I'll I'll implement it. You just let me know the procedure. Yeah, I will. I will share. Okay. Okay. But uh, that is a secondary thing. If you are running it into your, you know, internal network, that yeah. is not then required. It, yeah, and and you know that I'm using it for education purpose, so HTTP will be perfectly fine because students will create project, they will deploy it, and then after that, everything will be destroyed once semester will be over. Right. So actually, you do not have to, you know, pay additional. Yes, yes, yes. Additional. But I have to let them know the procedure. So for that, I need clarity. Okay, so uh, what I will do, I will uh, take a separate session for this only and okay. so that you will be able to guide your student, students uh, with some presentation like that is the thing and whenever you are in production, you are taking this online, then right. only you have to uh, look for it, okay? Okay, uh, so uh, Mahesh, what will be the next plan for next sessions now? Because uh, from tomorrow, uh, my mm -hmm. work will start because tomorrow is Monday. And okay. I want it to first implement it. So if, if it is okay with you, uh, we can plan our next session from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I need a good amount of time because I'm busy with my classes as well and my work. So uh, if possible, then whatever class sessions are left, we'll do them on uh, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Okay, uh, got it. Only two sessions are left. Okay, yeah. so uh, in between you can uh, make uh, your practice. Okay. Yes, yes. And but I'll do. My day. plan is that I have five days, Monday to Friday. Friday evening we'll have class. By Friday mm -hmm. I will implement it again, and plus I will deploy it on vSphere as well. If I feel like that is there, if if there will be any technical difficulty, I'll let you know on Friday. Uh, because okay. I will be able to do practice and in a, and moreover, 
I have checked with the payment also. From my side, payment is clear. Most probably you will get it by tomorrow. And by next Friday, I'll make, make the next set of payment as well. Okay, then fine. So next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you take three sessions, one for troubleshoot, two that are pending. And mm -hmm. I hope then everything is good to go. Yeah, sure. I will do that. And uh, whatever no, documents, okay. more documents you have, like a presentation or any other thing, mm -hmm. please share it with me. So uh, for pre uh, presentation perspective, whatever mm -hmm. I have, I will share. But I want you to create a separate document or slides yeah. for you means you know what of I course have. of course and whatever documents i will create like a lab or something or number of steps if you feel like that you you require them i will also share it with you no no i do not want any document huh. okay because... but for sure uh, whatever documents you will give me i will just use them for reference purpose and i will mm -hmm. definitely quote your name that mm -hmm. whatever practical work uh, like I am representing, I will refer mm -hmm. your work there, either your YouTube video link or your direct name, your reference. Mm -hmm. I just mentioned my website. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll do that. Yeah. Thank you. So we will connect on next Friday. Okay. Yeah, we'll connect on next Friday, and once uh, uh, you will definitely receive payment by tomorrow, and because uh, they mentioned that it's a new account and it's uh, uh, because of Saturdays and Sundays there is a delay, but it is dispersed mm -hmm. from my side. So okay. by okay. Friday also I'll make rest of the payment and we'll conclude. Uh, the what next are you are using those third parties to make payment means even you can use PayPal as well, no? Uh, for what? Uh, for, you know, to make payments, what you yeah. are using that, you know, third we party use money global transfer. money transfer. PayPal is there, no, at free of cost, so why you use uh, No, no, no. Uh, those those type of, uh, you know, uh, they are uh, not used for, uh, you know, right way of uh, sending money. People PayPal. use it. Uh, yeah. Uh, PayPal, PayPal is not that popular here. Because okay. banking, uh, banking is very different over here. We have to use global money transfer. Okay, so, recently I got one user from Australia and uh, Australian and you know European.